87% of real estate agents fail in the first five years in the business. And here's a couple of things that they do wrong and literally for you to succeed in the business, all you have to do is just do the opposite. 87% of real estate agents fail in the first five years in their business. The reason is their customer service suck, they focus on the commission check, they don't market themselves, and they get distracted in the very first year in their business. All you have to do is just do the opposite. So provide great customer service, uh, market yourself. Every single time you have successful transaction, every single time you land a new listing, you have a new buyer, market yourself, market yourself every single day, follow up with, uh, with your leads, with your clients, stay top of mind, and don't get distracted. Stay in your lane, focus in your, in, on the business, grow your real estate sales, because a lot of times you're gonna see a newbie real estate agents getting into an industry and doing something else also on the side. I get when you get into the business and you start part-time, that's good. But once you slowly transition into being full-time, a lot of real estate agents pick up a flip here and there, they do Airbnb here and there. Then they get distracted, they start, maybe there's something else, maybe I opened up a yogurt shop or something else. They get distracted, they don't focus on growing the sales business, which is probably the best leverage that you could do. Once you have already momentum going, every single hour spent on generating new business, on servicing new business, is the best return you can possibly think of. But if we go back to customer service, just focus on providing exceptional customer service, where uh, exceed expectations, that's what is the best in a customer service. Every time the client is expecting you, you just exceed it. You provide better, you ask better questions, you show more homes, you call them more times than they expect, you give them the gift after the closing, you call them after the closing again, you send them another follow-up uh, email or, or mailer after the closing, you touch them and you call them when they have a happy birthday, when they have some events in their family, uh, you, you call one more time to an agent while you're in the transaction to negotiate, made a better deal for them. You go above and beyond and you care about uh, their emotions and their successful transaction more than you care about the check because those who care about their commission checks more, people can smell that. And when people smell that, there's, that, that this agent wants the commission check, they really sometimes will break the deal just because of it. So when you focus on your client's emotions and their experience, they will feel it. A lot of times how you do that is by asking extra questions, getting a better deal for them, uh, spending one more hour to do an extra showing, going to the property one more time, getting uh, and, and maybe uh, uh, double checking if the property lights are turned off, uh, when you have a vacant listing and the seller is, is away, providing extra care and better customer service is what's gonna set you apart. That's when you're gonna get the better referrals. That's when they're gonna be coming back to you. That's what's gonna put you, uh, to set you apart. And also, one more thing, I'll give you a bonus tip. When the market turns, when everything starts getting a little bit harder and not as easy, you work harder. You work, you work double. You make more calls, you make more appointments, and you work more hours and that's okay because you know that the things will start picking up again and you will be better than the previous people than the people that don't work as hard as you and uh, that's what's going to set you apart because the winners stay through the tougher times too right now in 2023 we're going through a little bit challenging market a lot of agents are leaving a lot of lenders are leaving the industry as well but they're going to be coming back when the industry is going to be easier and they're going to be starting from the scratch while well, you're gonna have the momentum going. Once you have the momentum going, it's easier to get and get, get all the business. When COVID started, I never knew that the business is gonna pick up 10 times more than, uh, than it was before that. I didn't know we we're gonna be entering a new surge, but I was, I was positioned very good for that COVID surge to happen and take me higher just because I was just pushing it as hard as I was before and even harder. I was making more calls. I was calling a lot of for sale by owners. And the reason for that was because I got scared because this market is going to uh, wipe me off. And I was planning on uh, have, being in this business forever. And I was just doubling down. And when the doors opened up and the market got flooded with clients, I was just ready to take them because everybody was calling me and my momentum picked me up. So 
having the momentum and just staying through tough times is going to, to put you uh, in, a, in a very good position. And don't listen to the market. You can't control interest rates. You can't control what the Fed is doing. You can't control what the prices are doing, how many buyers, how many sellers are there on the market. You only can control your own pipeline, how many hours you work, how many uh, phone calls you made, how many videos you created. Always practice your skills. Always upgrade your skills. Always work on getting better on the sales, people skills, communication skills, marketing skills. The best sales person is the one who knows the process and the product the most. If you just do these things, you're gonna be crushing the market, you're gonna be doing much better than the most real estate agents, and then one day, you're gonna be becoming the best salesperson in your field. If you don't know who I am, my name is Oleg, and I am a managing broker of the best real estate company called Komar in Chicagoland, and the reason why is because we see that our agents grow much faster than agents in other companies. And I'm very confident about it. So if you don't know me, I think we get to know it. We need to get to know each other. Hope this video helps. See you next time.